really feel that type of pain, but I mean, I mean, yeah, it's just, that's the type of stuff that just really shocks you, and it, I mean, I know, I mean, I feel for these kids, but I mean, at least have something rooted in a basis of reality when it comes to the policy you're espousing. This isn't the, and also, I completely forgot about this. Emma Gonzalez just admitted to bullying the Parkland shooter. She bullied the Parkland shooter. She said she did, or at least ostracized him. She's one of those people who were one of those bullies that we had heard about after the shooting. I mean, just imagine if someone actually took the guy under his wing. If someone took the shooter under his or her wing, actually tried to do something with them to make sure they didn't feel outcast. How, how much the situation could have been avoided. I mean, the dude lost his mother. I don't know. If you punch you, you're probably going to say, well, you're just giving sympathy to the shooter. Well, I'm not doing it. These kids are making me sympathize more with the shooter just because he was bullied. All right, I was a guy who underwent a lot of bullying. That doesn't make his act... That doesn't make what he did any less evil. Of course it was fucking evil. All right, he's probably going to rot in hell for an eternity. But you can't just say that this was all on him when this was clearly was preventable or also preventable on almost every level when it came to the law. When it came to local, not only local, but national law. And that failed. And on a personal level, he was getting screwed by almost everybody around him. And I know he was an unstable guy, and an unstable guy is going to be unstable. But I mean, not once did anybody really think to really try to help this dude. Or at least try to do something about him. And there was a whole resolution that the Parkland... I think it was like a resolution that the Parkland parents... Uh, rejected the resolution saying that we should... That if a kid is emotionally troubled that he needs to... Uh, <clears throat> be taken to a psychiatric facility or something like that. And they rejected that for some reason. That could have saved the kid and instead it didn't. What do you mean? What do you mean refuse to? What do you mean refuse? Most of the country sympathizes with you. By right, being able to witness that type of tragedy, I mean that stuff that is emotionally fucking scarring. All right, and the, I mean, all right, and the fact that you're actually able to go out there, I mean, hey, it's a pretty good testament of your willpower. But you're you're not doing it coherently and with facts. All right, all right, and also. Right after all these facts came out about the uh, Parkland shooter not being arrested or detained. I mean. No one ever said anything. No one ever said anything. No one at the sheriff sheriff's office really did anything to help the kid. Or at least, at the very least, detain him and get those guns away. Because they knew he had them. They were called to his house 30 fucking times. But they were defending him like it was all hot shit. I mean, just... Ugh. Found six feet deep. Six minutes and 20 seconds with an AR-15. And my friend Carmen would never complain to me about piano practice. Aaron Feist would never call Kira Miss Sunshine. Alex Schachter would never walk into school with his brother Ryan. Scott Beagle would never joke around with Cameron at camp. Helen Ramsey would never hang out after school with Max. Gina Montalto would never wave to her friend Liam at lunch. Joaquin Oliver would never play basketball with Sam or Dylan. Elena Petty would never. Carol Lugren would never. Chris Hickson would never. Luke Hoyer would never. Marquine Duque Aguiano would never. Peter Wang would never. Alyssa Alhadaf would never. Jamie Guttenberg would never. Meadow Pollock would never. Okay, now that's pretty creative. I'll give her that. That's a good way to get the emotions boiling.
Is that the moment of silence? I guess so. I guess you just started bursting out crying. I can't see anything. So I guess that happened. Just gonna ask. Yep. I'm just gonna skip that. If I can find him. No, I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna bash her anymore. I mean, that's... I mean, like I said, it's pretty damn awful what these kids went through i mean it really is i don't like i said i hope i never ha i hope or i don't really <laughs> i mean oh, crap <sighs> i hope no one ever has to go through this kind of tragedy i don't, I don't have to I hope the people i per personally know don't have to i hope no one really has to go through this type of tragedy ever again but these policies that they're prescribing known to never actually work and in the case of like the Brady Gun Control Act I mean we banned AR-15s for a while didn't do shit with gun crime at all Didn't it didn't do a damn thing with gun crime almost like there was a whole bunch of just bunch of these crazy things just kids just keep saying these things and like I said I mean they have the right to say it and I feel for them but these kids are not actually trying to do anything with what they're trying to say in a really proactive way. I mean, hey, be an activist, good. You, if you want to be an activist, you can do that, all right? I can care less, as long as you aren't being an asshole to me. But they're being an asshole to me. They're being an asshole to me and more than 40% of the country just because they disagree with them on guns. They said this literally right after... <clears throat> right after the uh, Parkland shooting, when they were on CNN for the first time, all those kids, they said, you're either with us or against us. I, they basically gave the American people a vendetta. Well, not a vendetta. A, uh, they, they gave the American people basically a you join us or you die kind of moment. All right, not, and that's not me saying that they're going to go around killing all the gun owners of America. I doubt that's going to ever happen. Partially because they're kids and they don't want to use guns, and that'd be the most efficient way to really kill people. And plus... They don't have the resources to take over the entire federal government. But yeah. It's just... I just don't know what is going on with these kids around the country. All right? I've gotten into arguments with a couple of kids on this issue already. A couple, couple of kids I know personally. And a couple of my friends probably did some of these walkouts. I'm pretty sure a couple of them did. Because they live in pretty liberal areas. And they were either going to get forced to. Or they were just going to get ostracized for that. If... They were pro gun. I don't, and I don't think they are. But I mean, this this entire situation is just really fucking irritating for me. Because I mean, you can do all this shit, but at least have a basis of fact, have something that we could have, at least do something that would try to sympathize you and talk about the bipartisanship. Okay, David Hogg at the end of that speech, he said. This isn't a Democrat thing or Republican thing. This is something that the American people should be talking about. Literally, the first couple of days, alright? And I'm, I'm okay with people changing their minds on certain things, but, I mean, they were saying, alright, and it wasn't him who said it, I think it was another one of the kids, they basically said, you're either with us or against us, <clears throat> and a bunch of people shellacked them for it, and now they're switching around all of a sudden saying, that, oh, hey, this isn't a Democrat thing. This should this should all be a this should be a this is a bipartisan issue. This is all it should be. It shouldn't be a Democrat or Republican thing, even though that's clearly clearly what it is. All right. And while I don't disagree with having big corporations do it, I mean I'm just gonna tell you a couple of the corporations, big the big gun control lobbying groups, that help them out. I mean every town, and uh, Gabrielle Giffords bunch of other people were really helping them out with this with this march and like I said I don't have a problem with that but I mean 
Yeah. That's clearly a very, those are clearly very, very, very left groups. You're telling me you're not going to disavow them or something like that? Or at least try to do something along the lines of actually bipartisan. You're not going to reach out to the NRA? No, they're just going to keep calling the NRA the uh, child killing bigots. I know there's also another marcher that I want to, I don't remember his name, but he said something. It's like, if we arm our teachers, are we going to have, are we going to have people packing heat in synagogues and stuff like that? There's a bunch of people who were talking about it. Bench people probably had the best response to this. Like, hell yeah, I'd like to have somebody packing heat in my synagogue. I mean, synagogue's probably one of the most worst places in America to really be in if you're going to be targeted for a hate crime. I mean, anti-Semitism's a bitch. So, yeah. I would want somebody packing heat in my school. I don't have to... I, I, to me, I don't really feel like I need to really... worry about it, because, I mean, I'm in a small community college, I mean, yeah, it could happen, but, I mean, school shootings are super rare, that's why I don't feel any real fear of it, like, I hear about it all the time, but I don't hear shootings happening all the way around me, I mean, the Sutherland Spring shooting was a year ago, I haven't heard of many real big Texas shootings since then, I honestly haven't, and, for very, and that's for a very good reason, because this is a very gun-friendly place. In fact, I more often or not hear about cases where people are actually using their guns in self-defense to protect their our houses and livelihood. So, yeah. There's that. They're not going to talk about that. They're just saying that guns are bad and that we have to get rid of all of them, even if... Most of the time, they are used for good. And they're ignoring, like I said, all kinds of statistics. And so, I'm going to leave everybody off on here. It's just, I'm just going to say, to all the marchers out there, you are very misguided. You're very misguided. Like, I'm sorry, but you are. I wish I could help you out. I really do. But you're probably not going to listen to me. You're probably not going to listen to any of the people who are actually trying to do some good with this. I know that, you know, gun, gun, guns are a very tricky issue. But guns were not the motivating factor. And acting like guns are always a motivating factor in every single facet of American life will always be a stupid thing to say and a stupid thing to try to dismay. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. <coughs> uh... Yeah, honestly, this whole thing is just, this whole thing's kind of just sad to see. It just shows the state of our politics, how bad it's gotten, how basically people are trying to give the reins over to the kiddies, even though kids are not equipped to do any of this shit. Kids have not ever been equipped, they're not equipped in the brain, they're not equipped in body power, unless they're a fucking steroid rip motherfucker. But I mean, kids are just not equipped emotionally or mentally to really deal with this type of stuff in very much of a positive way. And the fact that they're actually ostracizing some of the pro-gun kids like Kyle Akashiv and some of this stuff, not actually letting him take part in any of these discussions about gun control with his fellow peers, is just really indicative of the fact that there is a huge agenda being propped up here by the people in the media and the left. And I can do a whole another video about that, but I already did that in response to the, to the shooting, to the Parkland shooting in the first place. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you don't die. <laughs>